Broken EVs head straight to junkyards as repair costs are unbearable. Have you ever thought about why so many broken electric cars end up in junkyards instead of being fixed? There may be a hidden crisis in the EV business because of how hard and expensive it is to fix these high-tech cars. Come with us as we reveal the shocking truth about why the cost of fixing electric cars are going up so fast and why many owners decide it's better to give up on their eco-friendly rides. Are you ready to find out what really happened with the EV fix problem? Watch out to find out. A lot of key regions all over the world are already experiencing decline in the number of sales of electric cars. It is probable that the United Kingdom, whose consumer uptake has stayed stable for the better part of two years, may see additional stifling of demand due to difficulty in sourcing sufficient repair professionals. This is because the United Kingdom could be experiencing a shortage of repair professionals. A dearth of mechanics who are able to handle the most difficult electric vehicle repairs is contributing to the increase in repair costs, according to reports from insurance and repair companies such as the AA, which provides roadside help throughout the United Kingdom. This shortage is one of the factors that has contributed to the rise in repair costs. Underwriters are opting to total cars that have very minimal damage, which results in electric models being prematurely thrown to the garbage bin. This is because underwriters are choosing to incorporate costs such as lengthy wait periods for replacement parts in their calculations. An apparently trivial collision that causes damage to the battery or the container that holds it can cause a complete write-off of the vehicle. As stated by Marco Di Stefano, the managing director of the retail branch of the American insurance giant Access SA in the United Kingdom for the retail branch. This ultimately results in an increase in the cost of insurance cover for the policyholder. In the United Kingdom, there are 236,000 car mechanics and the Institute of the Motor Industry, which is responsible for providing training and certification, reports that much fewer than 10% of these mechanics are qualified to work directly on electric vehicle batteries or their casings. It is necessary to have additional training in order to do the most difficult repairs because of the complexity of the circuits and the possibility of electrocution. Despite the fact that a large number of technicians are capable of completing activities that need less effort, this is the prevailing situation. In the course of his trip to Birmingham, Darren Naughton, a trainer with the American Association, made the following statement. The ant has risen quite a lot because you are dealing with no mistakes, really. In the context of these systems, death occurs automatically and without delay. It has been discovered by Thatcher Research, a business that is situated in the United Kingdom, that drivers are also concerned about the prospect of an electric vehicle being written off in the event of a collision. There are a number of problems that are preventing the demand for environmentally friendly autos from being fulfilled, as shown by a poll that was conducted and published in the previous year. These concerns include extensive lead times for deliveries and a lack of charge points that are operational. It is projected that the scarcity will become much more severe in light of the fact that there are currently 1 million electric vehicles on the road. Although repair shops are beginning to train their employees, the United Kingdom will still be lacking approximately 30,000 skilled technicians by the year 2035, which is the year that a ban on the sale of new combustion cars would go into effect, according to projections provided by INI. This is the year that the ban would go into effect. Since the year 2022, the share of the market that is comprised of sales of battery electric vehicles in the United Kingdom has been pretty consistent. As of the month of March, the Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders said that they were functioning at a level that was approximately 15%. According to a study that was published by Bloomberg in January, the premiums for insurance for conventional autos are twice as costly as those for hybrid automobiles. The decision of whether or not to repair or replace a car following an accident, which was formerly a straightforward one for insurers to make, is increasingly being influenced by variables that were not previously taken into consideration. Because it takes longer for replacement parts to arrive from overseas, the period of time that damaged cars are unable to be driven is increased, and the cost of auxiliary services such as car rentals is increased as a result. There was a training session for electric vehicles that took place at the technical training workshop that the AA held in Birmingham. There was a training session for electric vehicles that took place at the technical training workshop that the AA held in Birmingham. This is the BLO and BRG. In the event that the damage is not severe, the insurance company will typically assume possession of the vehicle and either destroy it by breaking it up into pieces, scrapping it, or rebuilding it and selling it again. What the settlement cost is equivalent to or more than the value of the car, this is the situation that arises. As stated on its website, the vehicle dismantler Synetic in the United Kingdom has reported a 55% increase in the number of electric cars and vans that it has disposed of over the course of the previous year. An enterprise that has been formed is responsible for recycling battery materials that are considered to be expensive, such as lithium and nickel. High repair costs have been a problem for electric vehicle manufacturers like Tesla for a considerable amount of time. 
This is because electric vehicle manufacturers do not have the same specialized service network that traditional automobile manufacturers do. Teslas were disposed of by Hertz, the largest automotive rental company in the United States, because the expense of repairing easily damaged components such as radar assemblies led maintenance expenses to increase. As a result, Hertz was forced to get rid of Teslas. It was said by Lee Houston, an electric vehicle technical liaison engineer at the AA, that a sizable portion of the autos that are being disassembled or crushed in the United Kingdom are capable of being fixed. It's a replacement, which will write the car off, he said, and the cost of the replacement may range anywhere from £15,000 to £20,000. If a battery is damaged in any manner, including being dented or marked, the replacement will be required. Several other countries have demonstrated a more successful approach to addressing the challenges that they have encountered. According to ADAC, the most prominent provider of roadside services in Germany, the shortage of qualified specialists is less acute in Germany, which forms the largest vehicle market in Europe than it is in the United Kingdom. This is because Germany is the largest automobile market in Europe. There is no problem with electric vehicle EV, expertise in Norway said a representative for the Norwegian Automobile Federation. This is despite the fact that 82% of new cars sold in Norway in the previous year were electric. On the other hand, there is a widespread shortage of certified technicians across the nation. The Swedish Association for Motor Retail Trades and Repairs has revealed that the abilities of mechanics in Sweden on electric vehicles (EVs) are fast improving. This information was obtained from the Swedish Association. The challenges that the United Kingdom is confronted with are not insurmountable despite the fact that the additional training that is required to maintain the battery of an electric vehicle is not inexpensive. At AXA UK, the cost of training for four days is roughly £2,500 per mechanic. This information comes from the company. On the other hand, smaller firms will need to determine whether or not they are willing to take the plunge in order to assess whether or not they are able to handle this expense. At Quick Fit, which is one of the largest car service groups in the United Kingdom, just 15 out of around 1,500 technicians fulfill the Level 3 or Level 4 standard that is required to repair electric vehicle battery cells and modules. Both of these standards are necessary for the repair of electric vehicle batteries. According to Ben Boot, who is the head of development for service, maintenance, and repair at Quick Fit, he believes that the role will eventually attract a bigger pool of candidates who are more familiar with the concepts of electrical engineering and diagnostic equipment. He believes this will happen in the future. When it comes to battery maintenance and getting into the repair of individual cells and modules, Boot claims that there is still a fear of the unknown. This dread is evident. There is still an element of the fear of the unknown. In the future, when there are more electric car mechanics who have obtained comprehensive training, the alternative of repairing rather than replacing will become more feasible. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to ensure you never miss our in-depth analyses, exclusive interviews, and expert reviews. Join our community and stay ahead of the curve.